American Pickers stars businesses revealed from Mike Wolf's vacation rental to Jersey John's antique restoration company. Hello everyone, my name is Alana B. Welcome back to my another video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Mike Wolf has a real estate portfolio worth an estimated $5 million in areas of Tennessee and Iowa. The American Pickers stars have branched out from the reality TV roots and started businesses away from the cameras. From Mike Wolf's vacation rental business to Jersey John's on-brand antique restoration company, the History Channel stars have found more ways than one to make money. Mike Wolf, 59, has created a business empire featuring real estate, antique stores, and more. He has starred on American Pickers alongside Danielle Colby, 48, and John Jersey John Chalet since its premiere season in 2010 and more recently. His brother Robbie Wolf, after fan favorite Frank Fritz, 58, was fired. Recently, the U.S. Sun revealed that through the years, the antique hunter has opened a number of businesses outside of the show from real estate to retail. In 2000, Mike founded Antique Archaeology in his hometown of La Claire Evawa, where he sells his antique finds and pickers merchandise. He opened another antique shop in Nashville, Tennessee, where he lives in 2011. Ever the entrepreneur, Mike opened up Wolf's Village Bike in Eldridge, Iowa, in 1999, where he taught bicycle history and safety. The business is still active with his sister, Beth listed as an agent of the company. Mike launched MR Daddy Properties the same year, where he continues to buy real estate and restore properties. He is also a landlord of multiple buildings and has a real estate net worth of approximately $3,467,300. The TV personality went from in front of the camera to working behind the scenes when he launched the production company Mossy Point, ANC. American Pickers ratings plummet by over 150 viewers as star Mike Wolf begs fans to watch show. His divorce settlement with ex-wife Jody revealed his secret business. The court papers exclusively obtained from a Tennessee court read, Mike is awarded the sole and exclusive right to any and all intellectual property owned or created prior to or during the marriage, including all creative content, shows, scripts, pitches, ideas, and all other intellectual property or other material created by him and slash or MRT properties, incorporated and slash or Mossy Point Productions. The History Channel star was also awarded sole, exclusive, and continued right to use his name, image, and likeness, and all other names, logos, or other intellectual property involving the show, American Pickers, River Raiders, and Untitled Jason Momo Project, and Slash or any other show created or contributed by him now or in the future. While it's unknown if the Untitled Jason Momo Project has any connection to the Aquaman Stars Max series, on the roam, Mike did make an appearance during its first season. When Mike isn't filming for American Pickers, he's managing his many businesses and investing in real estate. The U.S. Sun can exclusively go inside his massive real estate portfolio with an estimated worth of $5,089,900 featuring Tennessee mansions and Iowa commercial properties. Mike, who shares his daughter Charlie, 11, with his ex-wife, Jody, bought a $1,050,000 home after their divorce in June 2020 in Lapers Fork, Tennessee, according to Williamson County court records. The 3,153-square-foot mansion boasts three bedrooms and three bathrooms. It also includes a detached garage for the collector to store his cars, bikes, and other automobiles. The U.S. Sun previously reported Mike purchased several commercial properties in Columbia, Tennessee, a city 46 miles from Nashville, to help bring business and tourists to the small town. According to Maury County property records, one commercial property is 4,320 square feet, 
and valued at $214,100. The property is rented out to Hazelwood Laboratories, as their business description reads, Boutique Music Systems for Hospitality and Home. Mike also became the owner of a 2,900-square-foot property with a value of $192,700, which Mule Town Coffee currently rents. Another commercial property, a space used as a drama theater called Packard Playhouse, is 4,653 square feet and is appraised at $336,300. Mike also owns a 6,279-square-feet commercial property worth $464,400, which he has rented out to Trek Bicycle Store Columbia. The square footage includes an upstairs apartment Mike rents out called Two Lanes Guest House. The U.S. Sun reported that Mike charges $275 a night from Friday to Sunday and $200 a night from Monday to Thursday. During holidays, including Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, the price bumps up to $425 a night. The lodging features one bedroom with a king bed, a couch that pulls out a queen bed, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a washer and dryer. The space is filled with antiques picked by Mike himself. According to Maury County Records, Mike bought the former Chevrolet dealership Columbia Motor Alley, built in 1948 in November 2017 for $400,000. The estimated value is $717,400, and the building boasts a massive 13,440 square feet. A source close to Mike previously told the U.S. Sun, it used to be a car restoration building, and then Mike Wolf bought it. He has employees who work on bicycles and more in the garage section. Mike has his cars and motorcycles here on display. He has motorcycles, bikes, cars, and antiques he finds on the show. A merchandise shop inside the building sells shirts, hats, oil cans, mugs, and other goods. There are also vintage cars and motorcycles from Mike's collection on display, including a black Ford Model A, a red Porsche, a beige 1934 Ford Coupe, and an Indian motorcycle. According to property records viewed by the U.S. Sun, Mike also dropped $600,000 on a 976-square-foot property on September 15, 2022. A source told the U.S. Sun at the time, it's going to be a restaurant. They are going to sell pizza, soda, that kind of stuff. Also in Tennessee, Mike owns another commercial property in Nashville as of September 2014. The two-story commercial building is 3,604 square feet and was once owned by the Tattoo and Piercing Parlor Slumerican flagship store before the business closed. He also bought a store in Franklin, Tennessee in September 2014. Mike has also bought a number of properties in his native Leclerc, Iowa. The American Pickers star purchased a 3,168-square-foot building for $180,000 in 2004. The home is a two-story duplex with an apartment on the second floor. The first story is occupied by the business The Shameless Chocoholic, and there is also a 1,548-square-foot basement, two garages, and a back patio with a wood deck. In December 2010, Mike spent $115,000 on another commercial property in Leclerc, and in March 2013, he bought the lot next door. 129 Coffee and Spirits are renting out the location. In September 2011, Mike dropped $97,000 on another commercial property in Leclerc that he uses for antique archaeology. Mike's girlfriend, Letitia Klein, dropped $110,000 on a Kentucky property she has turned into a coffee shop. Letitia, 45, owns Ace Coffee Cafe in Cave City, Kentucky, about two hours south of Louisville, and the shop will officially open on March 29. Letitia bought the commercial property on July 16, 2021, for $110,000, according to property records. A photo obtained from Barron County Court 
shows the exterior of the two-story building built in 1947. Letitia gave Instagram followers a sneak peek inside the property when she posted a photo of a round light with the words, order here hand-painted in yellow. Letitia then posted the coffee counter and captioned the picture, it's finally starting to look like a shop. This was a lot of fun to build slash design. The counter is wood, and the walls have matching wood trim and shiny brick tile. As for the seating area, customers can enjoy their coffee on a vintage brown leather couch or comfortable yellow chair, as books are sprawled on the coffee table. She captioned the photo, I can't wait to sit right here with slash a great cup of coffee. The coffee shop will also serve snacks, as she shows off the great healthy choices, including bars and granola. Ace Coffee Cafe's Instagram bio reads, Cultivate. Curate. Elevate. Educate. Serving more than coffee. Leticia is also the owner of Sucker Punch Drink and Food Company. Last year, John Chalet, Aka Jersey John's, antique restoration store was slammed by customers. Jersey John has appeared on episodes of American Pickers through the years. Recently, he joined Mike in New York City to pick through sewing machine repairman Stephen Hecht's Thor Hecht sewing machine and motor. The U.S. Sun revealed that John's New Jersey store, First National Antique Restoration, in Barnegat Township, New Jersey was hit with mixed reviews. One potential customer wrote on Google Reviews, just driving by and thought it was an antique shop. Didn't realize it was a by-appointment-only business, and we were rudely chased away. Very unfriendly people. The owner responded, We are a restoration company and working with machinery. He continued, The property is clearly marked no trespassing on the front door, side door, on all the fences and driveway. John continued to fire back, writing, you obviously were the rude one to ignore our request to not be trespassing. We have been in business doing high-quality restorations for 40 years and do not tolerate rude people walking into our work area. A second Google review read, the guy is never there and doesn't return phone calls to make an appointment. Another potential customer complained about prices, writing, spoke with the owner of the establishment asking if he would take a look at a gate-legged table I have. He had previously stated that all his restorations start at $1,200. I told him I thought $1,200 was pricey to restore a table worth only a few hundred dollars. I asked if he would mind giving us a few tips on how we could restore the table ourselves. His answer was, I don't give teaching lessons or instructions on how to refinish furniture. I said I would only ask what products to use on the table, and he repeated the same answer. First National Antique Restoration did not immediately respond to the U.S. Sun's request for comment. John's work apparently speaks for itself, however, as customers have praised him for his talented restorations. One customer wrote, I brought a chair to National Antique Restoration that was centuries old and covered in paint. My dad found it at least 40 years ago in a basement in Manhattan. I never knew what it truly looked like. The refinishing of the chair was perfect and every detail that was missing before has shown through. I cannot thank National Antique Restoration enough for giving me back an absolutely beautiful chair. John is amazing. A second praised. John and Christine, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have restored my Nana and Pop-Pop's dining room furniture so beautifully. Each project you have done for us was worth every penny, but you went above and beyond expectations on this one. I wouldn't hesitate to do it again. John often shows off his restoration projects on social media and films, alongside Mike and his brother, Robbie. Robbie Wolf owns a stunning Yoa antique shop featuring vintage cars, neon signs, and more. Robbie replaced fan favorite Frank Fritz on American Pickers, as the casting choice has received backlash from loyal fans. The U.S. Sun revealed Frank's replacement purchased a commercial real estate building in Davenport, Iowa, in March 2021 for $200,000.
Renovations to the building included a new roof for $24,755 and plumbing and electricity for $900. The TV star wrote on Instagram when he bought the building, Love the history of this building. Built in 1939 as an automotive building in downtown Davenport, it will live on. Robbie's store holds stunning vintage finds and antiques. He often posts his findings on Instagram for his customers to buy. He often shows off his vintage signs, which is one of his favorite items to collect. He posted on Instagram that one of his favorite signs is a neon one that reads, Jesus saves in the shape of a cross. Robbie revealed to a customer that he was selling the sign for $7,500. Other antiques in the shop include vintage oil cans, clocks, cast irons, and more. He also has motorcycles, bikes, and cars inside and outside the store, including an antique New York City black taxi and a 1931 Chrysler. Topics Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel American Pickers 24 and stay with us.